the monstrous aircraft carrier appears. In the previous episode of Gachaman, the science ninja team tried to escape from the Turtle King, but the god Phoenix's wing was caught in the Turtle King's door. With precious moments ticking away before the Turtle King was set to explode, Gachamon gave the order, and the God Phoenix's generator was pushed all the way into the red zone, creating intense heat and pressure inside the craft. It took all of the strength and courage of the Science Ninja team to survive the risky Firebird technique. Just in the nick of time, the intense heat melted the door of the Turtle King, and the God Phoenix soared into the sky. The monster robot Turtle King disintegrated and plunged into the ocean. But Galactor escaped in the head of the Turtle King and lives on to carry out their plot for world domination. We have successfully completed all of the missions in the space flight. We're ready to return to Earth immediately. Over. Roger that, Manalee. You'll re-enter the atmosphere in an easy 45 degree angle. You be careful. Roger that. We've gotten this far. We won't screw up now. Roger. Beginning countdown to reverse thrust. Boosters online. We're ready to come home. 15 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Zero! Man late here. Everything is moving along smoothly. We're now entering the Earth's atmosphere, and then we'll head to the splashdown site. Over. Roger that. Vessel's on standby. Move to the splashdown site immediately to recover the spaceship. We didn't get the head of the Turtle King, but it'll show up again somewhere soon, I'm sure of it. This is G1. Go ahead. Over. Nambu here. Urgent orders. G1, bring together the other units immediately and stand by at sea. Why, Doctor? Has something happened? I'll explain later. Right now, hurry up and get the team together. Go! Roger! Ken, why the hell did we get called together all of a sudden? I don't know yet, Joe. The orders from Dr. Nambu are to go to the ocean and stand by. Hey, maybe that turtle monster turned up again! This is the God Phoenix. We're here, standing by.
We developed a device called the Earth Compact, and a manned spaceship carrying it has disappeared from its splashdown site in the waters of the South Pacific. You said the Earth Compact device. What is its function, Doctor? The Earth Compact seeks both natural resources outside of the Earth's atmosphere, as well as uranium deep within the Earth's core, and records the data. Jeez, I thought it was like some of the makeup stuff that Sis uses. Well, you're not very bright, are you? Why would they have makeup on a spaceship? Ladies and gentlemen of the Science Ninja Team, go to the Splashdown site immediately and hunt for the two lost pilots and the Earth Compact. I pray for your success. Roger that. Go! The operation was successful, Commander. <laughs> Excellent. Let's take a look. Put that cassette into the computer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> look. This is showing us the locations of uranium as well as many other energy sources deep in the Earth's crust. I must report to Lord Katze at headquarters. Lord Berg Katze, we have successfully carried out our plan to seize the spaceship Mantle 8. With respect, I am now sending you all of the data. Well, all right, good work. Hmm. I must ask for our leader's guidance on this right away. Listen to my order, Birdcat. As you know, the amounts of uranium and other energy sources on Earth is extremely limited. Every country in the world is desperately seeking it. So are we. Galactor's plan is to steal all the uranium in the Earth and use it to conquer the world. Find the largest uranium deposit in the world, and over it, you will build an immense underwater uranium plant for Galactor. Sire. Okay, there it is. Very good, Ryu. Head for that place to turn yellow. Mm-hmm. Jun, this is no time to be admiring the scenery. The Science Ninja Team needs everyone alert. Ooh, scary. Prepare to bring online the underwater radar. Roger! The center of the whirlpool is surprisingly calm compared to its circumference. Okay, everybody buckle your seatbelts so you don't get flung around, and be sure to hang on tight! Oh, I feel so sick. Ryu, Joe, on my signal, pull as hard as you can on the control levers. Roger! Roger! Okay, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, go! Hey, 
Hey, it worked! We're all saved! We did it. All right, June. Let me see the radioactivity measurements. Right. Abnormal radioactivity readings at the same time we saw that bright light. Someone detonated a nuclear bomb on the ocean floor. I'm sure of it. What? A nuclear bomb? That's right. Nuclear explosions underwater violate international law. But someone did it anyway. Okay. Back into that ocean again. Huh? We're going back down, Big Brother? Don't be scared. Nothing like that'll happen again. Probably. Gotcha, man! Ken, what is that? So, is this what caused the tidal wave then? Ryu, quick, put the infrared filter on the view screen for me. Okay. Oh! Wow, it's huge! A monster-sized aircraft carrier! This is the work of Galactor. The spaceship was stolen by this underwater aircraft carrier. They have the Earth Compact device with them, and they're determined to mine an enormous uranium deposit. All right, we'll just blast them with some missiles. Wait! Don't be stupid! Get a grip on yourself, Ryu. The pilots of the spaceship might be prisoners inside that aircraft carrier. Listen, Ryu, I want you to position the God Phoenix where it won't be spotted immediately. I'm going to sneak aboard that aircraft carrier, rescue the spaceship pilots, and bring back the Earth Compact device. I'll go too! No, I'll be more inconspicuous alone. Don't worry, just stand by until we receive our next orders. Damn, guess that means I'm not wanted. Sure hope you don't regret it! Jinpei. Bird, go! I guess I was right. Hmm? <laughs> How good of you to drop in on us. You must be Gachaman of the Science Ninja Team. And you've gone to the trouble to come and be captured. Hmm. Uh, creep. Bird? Go! Go! Bird run! <laughs> 
too bad. Galactor! Stop this insolence, Gachaman! Don't you see them? <laughs> If you want the pilots to stay in the land of the living. If he has hostages, I guess I have no choice but to give up. Lock him up securely in the ship's hold. Later he can tell us all about Dr. Nambu and the science ninjas. <laughs> Even corpses can have their uses sometimes. How dare you do something so cruel? The rest of the science ninjas must be around here somewhere. Keep your guard up and capture all of the other ones. Understood? All right. <laughs> now, pal, how's about you showing me the way to your commander? Jinpei, you have great timing! Big Brother Joe told me to come because it'd be too risky if you were on your own. So, I guess now you realize that you need me here, don't you? <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> now, come on and tell me, where did you hide the Earth Compact device? Speak up! <laughs> if I have to beat it out of you, I will, you worthless piece of garbage! Tell me! What have you done with the Earth Compact device? Speak up! Come on! Tell me! Stop it! You're hurting me! It's inside the computer! Big Brother! I found it! <laughs> You failed again, haven't you? Lord Bird Kutze! You imbecile. First you sacrificed the Turtle King, and now the underwater aircraft carrier? Look, you have angered our great leader as well. Take responsibility, Commander. The only option is to ram the head of the Turtle King into the God Phoenix! <laughs> We informed Dr. Nambu of everything that's happened, Ken. Good. Surface! Science 
ninja technique, Firebird! This time, victory belonged to the Science Ninja team. But even now, Galactor is steadily moving forward with their plan to conquer the world. What will Galactor's next move be? Hang in there, Gachaman! Giant mummy has awakened from its ancient slumber. Little Makoto stands waiting for his father at the airport as he has for days. Will Galactor's evil claws reach the boy's father? What is the secret of the mummy? And what happens to ignite Gachamon's desire for justice? Join the Science Ninja team in their showdown with the rampaging giant next time in the giant mummy that summons storms. Look forward to it! <laughs> 